Hello, my name is Poppy, and I'm a trainer with MakerBot Learning. At MakerBot, we have two main kinds of 3D printing filament, ABS and PLA. Our MakerBot Replicator 2X experimental 3D printer is optimized for ABS, whereas our MakerBot Replicator 5th generation printers are all optimized for PLA. Let's take a deeper look at the differences between the two and why you want to pick one over the other. PLA works for a wide variety of 3D printing applications because of its ease of use. PLA is not as sensitive to temperature changes, which means our MakerBot replicators do not need a heated build plate or a full enclosure. Parts printed with PLA have great surface quality and decent strength, but are not suitable for parts that will undergo a lot of wear and tear or be exposed to the elements for a long period of time. ABS is a little bit more tricky to print with because it's more sensitive to temperature changes in the environment. That's why the MakerBot Replicator 2X Experimental 3D Printer includes a full enclosure and a heated build plate. ABS needs to cool slowly. Otherwise, if it cools too rapidly, your ABS print can crack along layer lines. Also, ABS prints are much more susceptible to curling and warping during the printing process. In general, ABS can withstand more heat, pressure, and stress better than PLA making it a much more suitable plastic for wear and tear applications. While neither PLA or ABS are flexible plastics, ABS will distort and bend before breaking, whereas PLA is more brittle and will break under stress. In a straight strength test though, PLA can handle more weight before breaking. If you were to print the same part in ABS as PLA, you're gonna notice a few cosmetic differences. Even if both filaments can be printed at 100 micron layer height, PLA is a little bit more forgiving with complex features. For example, you can 3D print a vertical overhang up to 68 degrees with PLA versus the 45 degrees you can print with ABS. Midair connections or bridges will also print more reliably with PLA, especially at longer distances between anchor points. Whether you're 3D printing in PLA or ABS, we recommend that you use a raft and make sure your build play is level. Post-production for both materials is straightforward. You first need to remove the raft and the support material. To note, because our MakerBot Replicator 2X offers dual extruders, you can print with dissolvable rafts and supports for easier post-production. Dissolvable material is removed with a chemical called limonene. ABS prints can also be chemically smoothed to hide layer lines. For a more refined look, acrylic paint can be applied to both PLA and ABS prints. Unwanted ABS or PLA prints should be discarded in the trash or sent to a number seven recycling program. PLA can break down landfill, ABS will not. With both PLA and ABS prints, make sure you unload and bag the filament if it's gonna be a while before 3D printing again. These filaments could absorb water from the air and swell in humid environments. On behalf of MakerBot Learning, thanks for watching.